This Thursday, the 8th annual Most Influential Woman and Young Woman Awards will be taking place. And joining us tonight with the details is CEO of Holy Angels, Lori Boswell, and President of the Nell Sheehy Foundation and the Kilpatrick Rosneath Foundation, Nell Sheehy. Welcome to the program, Lori and Nell. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're happy to be here. We're happy to have you. So, Lori, I'll start with you. Tell us the purpose of these awards. This award is just so incredibly important for the community. First of all, it honors Virginia Sheehy he, our trailblazer, who really just made a point of building uh, hope for those who were often hopeless, for helping to push education as something very important and a means of empowerment, and also to honor other women who, like Virginia, are working to better their community. Well, now I know she's speaking about your mother here, so tell us about how many women will be honored this week. There will be 12. Six more seasoned women mm -hmm. and six uh, <laughs> high school women. Amazing. And we added that group a year ago, I believe. Yes, we did. And it's wonderful because mm -hmm. they're the future. Yes. And their resumes were amazing compared to what I did in high school. It's unbelievable. We had, honest, honestly, we had a 23 candidates. We only had mm -hmm. six spots, but every single one of them <coughs> could have been in the six slots. They were so good with their 4.9 averages and their... Uh, missionizing in South America, studying medicine in high school, they're just uh, amazing. And of course the six seasoned women have decades of activism and volunteerism behind them. So we've got a great, great group this year as usual. That's very exciting and I know that the proceeds from this event actually end up going to a great cause. Laura, you want to tell us about that? Holy Angels is so honored to be chosen as the recipient of the funds and I think it's so um, appropriate because this, we had a group of sisters, a congregation of uh, nuns who worked with Virginia Sheehy to sustain Holy Angels. Again, trailblazing women working in, in leadership roles. And so Holy Angels today uh, is here because of the work of Virginia and the sisters and so many others. And we're serving over 200 individuals, um, children ages two through 21 in our community school. 18 and older in a day program and all of those individuals live in the community and come to Holy Angels. And then we have 180 individuals in residential services. All of our overarching purpose is empowerment and help individuals maximize their abilities and to live in the least restrictive environment possible. Yes, well, it sounds like it's going to be quite the event. So, Lori, tell us how we can get tickets and where it's going to be. We encourage everyone to go on to the Holy Angels website for tickets. It is www.laholyangels.org. And you definitely don't want to miss this event, guys. You are seeing those details on your screen. And Wait. ladies, before I let you go, um, there is an elephant in the room here, guys, because the woman sitting next to me here has been nationally recognized yes. by USA Today by Woman of the Year. So now just tell us, how does it feel? It was um, a complete and total surprise, uh, totally unexpected. Um, I'm very grateful for the award, but quite surprised. and. It's been a bit overwhelming. I, I can imagine it is overwhelming. I mean, the work that you do in the community as well as Holy well, Angels. Well, there's so many other people oh, in, the, yes. in the state, hundreds and hundreds of women who do this all the time. Um, and before we finish up on that, I do want to thank our sponsors, yes, Red River Bank mm -hmm. and the Shreveport Times. Mm -hmm. And we're excited to have Jackie Jovic yes, our yes, very own Jackie. as our yes. MC. So mm -hmm. it's going to be a great event. We still have a few tickets left, mm -hmm. a couple of tables. So get get those, uh, make those calls, get those reservations in. It's going to be a, a great event. Absolutely. Well, Fox 3 is a proud partner of Operation Kindness, and we are happy to be a part of it. And your mother would be so proud and so thrilled. And I had the good fortune of knowing Virginia and seeing how proud she was of her children. But this kindness initiative is so important, and we're happy to all participate in that. And K it, K Tall is my partner, my I know collaborator, I know. which has been fantastic. And it's y'all are just such a great group of people, and we're all like-minded, just like Holy Angels mm -hmm. and so many other people in the community that want to do kind works for people. 
who are disadvantaged and underserved, kindness is a very potent tool. Yes. Anyone can do it, it's free, and it really is an antidote to a lot of the negati mm -hmm. negativity and it the really evil and the chaos in the world. You can buy someone a cup of coffee, you can compliment them, you can change their day or you can change their whole life just by an act of kindness. <laughs> And that is why she was recognized by USA Today. You heard her heart there. And ladies and gentlemen, I hope you do um, head to their website and attend their event. Thank you guys for being here. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. Of course. We'll be right back, guys.